Hi guys, today I'm gonna to be showing you how you can match the background to your skin tones in your portrait photos using Photoshop. And I'm gonna start right now. Right guys, so the first thing you want to do is just go ahead and choose a photo. And today I have chosen this photo, which as you can see, currently the background is white and that's how I originally shot it. I didn't have any color behind it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how you can actually find the correct skin tone for your model and then duplicate that and actually create it into a background color. Now this is one of my favorite ways of kind of matching the skin tones to the background or vice versa. Uh, usually it's a very long process, but I've actually found a really quick way of doing this. And as you can see by a few of the sample images here, it looks really good when it's done correctly. So what I'm gonna do is firstly, I'm gonna show you how to cut out the model. Now, obviously this is on a nice background, so it's fairly easy to do. But if you wanted to know how to do it on more complicated backgrounds, just go ahead to the link here. And as you can see, I've already made a video on that matter. So what we're gonna do firstly is we're gonna go ahead and just duplicate the background layer. So I'm gonna go ahead and press Command J on our keyboard. Once we've done that, what we want to do now is actually work out how to cut out the model. And because it's simply black and white, this is actually going to be really easy. So what I'm gonna do is go over to the left-hand side tools panel. I'm gonna go ahead and select Object Selection Tool. I'm gonna to go ahead and select it like so. Then what I'm gonna do is click and drag over the entire model, and then I'm gonna go ahead and release. And what Photoshop will do is it will work out using the contrast edges, the area of where the model is versus the background and hopefully create a quick selection. And as you can see, Photoshop have done quite a good job. But obviously we need to go ahead and refine this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up to the top bottom here and I'm gonna go ahead and click select and mask. Now I've already created a video on this, but I'm gonna quickly go over it now. How select and mask works, is it will actually gray out the area, or in this case, it will green out the area that is actually going to be removed using a layer mask. Now on the left-hand side here, you've actually got a very few buttons. And what we want to do is actually use this tool here, which is called the Refine Edge Brush Tool. And what we want to do is just go over the areas that you can see where the areas need to be refined. So we've got this area at the bottom here, as you can see, there's a little white peering through here, so we're gonna fix that. And as you can see, a lot around the hair. So click and hold, drag over the area where you want Photoshop to re-have a look at. And as you can see, it works really, really well. So I'm gonna quickly go over all the areas that I think Photoshop needs to have a look at to create a really good cutout. Lovely, so as you can see, I've spent a little bit of time and it worked out really, really nicely. But what we want to do now is actually cut this out because we want to replace the background. So we want to cut out the model and remove the background. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down to our bottom section here where it says output. And instead of choosing selection, what we're actually gonna do is gonna go ahead and choose layer mask. And we're gonna go ahead and select it like so. What this will do is it will create a layer mask over the photo, removing the background, which is really nice. So all you'll need to do is go down to the bottom section here where you can see it says OK, and we're gonna go ahead and select. And what it'll do is it'll open it back up into Photoshop. But as you can see, it doesn't look like it's changed. And that's because we worked on a duplicated layer. If we go ahead and turn off that background layer, you can see it has been cut out. And instead of having a background, you can see it's got our transparency selection points here. And these are these gray squares that you can see. So what we want to do now is to actually create a color. And we can do this by creating a brand new adjustment layer called Solid Color Adjustment Layer. So what we're gonna do guys, we're gonna go down into our adjustment layers icon in the bottom right hand corner, and we're gonna go ahead right to the top where you can see it says Solid Color. And we're gonna go ahead and select it like so. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna turn it to, uh, let's go for a, a gray color to start off with. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just drop this below the model like so. So as you can see, the model is cut out and we can work on this layer here for the exact color. Now you could theoretically, and this is why it took me a long time to work out, double click on that and just simply use the eyedropper tool to try and select the right color. And as you can see, it hasn't done too bad of a job, but it's actually not the right skin tone because obviously skin tone has a skin, skin tone or range and you need to find the average of that range. So what we're gonna do is I'm quickly gonna go and show you a very quick tip. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and get this uh, selection here 
uh, this our first model here, and I'm just gonna simply duplicate that layer. So I'm gonna go ahead and press Command J. Once we've done that, what we want to do is go up to Select. I'm gonna go down to Color Range. I'm gonna go ahead and select it like so. And what we want to do is in our color range, we want to go ahead and select all the one called Skin Tones. And then we want our fuzziness down to one. I'm gonna go ahead and select OK. And what this will do is we'll just select the skin tones of the model. Then what we want to do is go up to filter, we want to go to blur, and then we want to go to average. And we'll go ahead and select that like so. And then all you'll need to do is press Command D to deselect it. And this is the exact tonal color of all of the average colors in the model's skin tones. So all you'll need to do now is double click on your background layer. Go ahead and sample this area here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on here. I'm gonna go ahead and click OK. And then all you'll need to do is go to that top layer that we duplicated and just simply delete it. And as you can see, we have now cut out the model and replaced it with the exact average skin tone color of that model. And as you can see, it looks really, really good. So as you can see, here is the before photo and here is the after photo. And what a difference. Brilliant, and there we go guys. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to learn more about Photoshop, Lightroom, and everything photography related, start now by subscribing and hitting the bell so you guys don't miss anything. Now, if you want to learn more about Photoshop, I've got my latest video just up here. But if you want to learn more about Photoshop retouching, then I've got a playlist just down here. But until next time, guys, keep creating.